as consumers, we buy things we like. So if we walk in a store, we see a television, we see a radio, we see a pair of pants, we buy the one we like. But when we hire people to provide services, that's not how it works. For services, design in particular, in the traditional world, we're hiring people to do something prospectively for us. Uh, and that's tough because we don't know what we like. And so CrowdSpring is a very different model. You're not picking from bids and proposals. You're actually picking from actual designs. So yeah. if you're looking for a new logo, you're picking from 100 different examples of your logo, yeah. uh, which is a, a different way of, of, of buying things and a different way of communicating. All of the designs, particularly in logo projects, have to be original. We actually, every time a designer submits a concept, they have to fill out disclosures, whether the design is original, what fonts they use. And we've done that from day one because we realize that for a business, it's embarrassing, yeah. uh, as I'm sure you were. You thought you had a unique design, and then you found somebody that had something very similar. So so it's embarrassing for people when they find out, and, and that's something we've always wanted to avoid. Mm -hmm. Why deal with a single person? You can still do it. You can still involve your own outside designer in a CrowdSpring project when you can be working with a community of several hundred thousand from all over the world. And, and so the smart companies from all over the world have figured that out and smart agencies understand that. So, so what agencies will do is they'll pitch a client or a prospective client with their own team, then they'll supplement it by running a project on CrowdSpring yep. and, and, and include those designs as well because to the client it doesn't matter. They just see a variety, but the agencies and, and, and other businesses can stand out because they're presenting something that no other person can yeah. on their backs. So, so it's phenomenally empowering that we're able to impact so many people in the U.S. and around the world uh, where otherwise they wouldn't have opportunities to do what what they're passionate about, which is create. So you have somebody sitting at home in their bedroom with a computer who's able to create using technology at a level that a major studio is spending tens of millions of dollars. And and that's true in in uh, basic logo design. It's true in, in, in video animation. It's going to be true across many different industries.